Scribbles. Good morning. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Scribbles. I am the artist and crocheter behind Eclectic Scribbles and we are starting a new studio vlog. Mr. Scribbles is here. Well, Mr. Scribbles is pulling out of the driveway right now <laughs> to go run a couple of errands, but I am coming off of basically a weekend off and just spending time with my husband. So he got here Saturday. I did work a little bit on Saturday, but um, not too terribly much. He didn't do anything super big. Um, and once he got home, I was pretty much done. I was pretty much done. Um, Sunday, we were supposed to have a pop-up market at the brewery from 12 to 5, which he came with me to. Um, but shortly, and I mean within like 20 minutes of getting set up, it started to like mist and then it started to sprinkle and then it started to rain. We were out of there before rain hit um, because I was like, my stuff is going to get ruined. I don't want it to get wet. It, it's already sort of damp on the top because it was misty a little bit, but we thought it was going to pass over because the forecast said nothing about rain. It said partly sunny. It was not sunny at all and it very much was rainy. So yeah. That was fun. I need to get Valentine's cards out. Um, I am going to attempt to make Valentine's cards here. So we'll see how that works out. Because I don't think I have time to order them and get them in for people to order them. So hopefully by the 1st I will have Valentine's cards ready to go. I am going to attempt to anyway. So we'll see how that works out. Um... What else? What else? What else? Um, I need to do inventory today. So I need to update my inventory trackers over on my spreadsheet with the stuff that I had. I was going to do inventory while I was there yesterday, um, but unfortunately, um, we weren't there very long. I did get like a quick pan because I was going to do a quick market vlog for you guys, but... Um, so I had started it with an intro video uh, showing you how my setup was or whatever. It wasn't very much to it I just took my crochet stuff um but yeah it started to rain so I, I'm, I think I went over it slow enough to just go back and and pause the video and count so we'll see otherwise I gotta pull that whole bin out and figure out what I've got in there and what I don't so I uh, can figure out what I need for the conventions coming up and what I don't um what else I've got to order stuff, so I was hoping that this weekend would provide some funds for me needing to order sweatshirts and um, t-shirts and just stuff in general, but it doesn't, it didn't. <laughs> Although I did, I will say, because we got finished setting up before the thing even started, so it was about 11 20, 11 30. Um, and I had a sale for like $35. They bought um, my little tank turtle that was like just by himself. The little purpley turtle that was by himself. And then a chicken. Obviously a chicken. So that was a $35 sale. So I made $35 um, yesterday, but that was it. Um, see what else is on tap for this week. Um, we're just going to switch into high gear as far as getting ready for... For the upcoming conventions, I need to make a, a list and a plan of everything that needs to get done so that I have plenty of stock, plenty of in inventory for these up upcoming conventions. Um, I need to plan to have plenty of inventory for my upcoming markets. Um, I'm still going to be doing those local brewery markets as long as the weather holds um, leading up to this because I do need to bring in some funds. I am going to try and do a quick little lovey-dovey launch on the first which i haven't really told anybody because i didn't know if i was going to get it out in time but i've got a few little stickers my little monster stickers i want to get out a little lovey-dovey um valentine's day crew neck and i want to get out a a couple of little items so we'll see if i can get that done so that has to be done by thursday hopefully i'll launch it on thursday we'll see and i need to continue putting stuff in the shop so someone went to go and purchase one of my mushroom um sweatshirts and uh couldn't because they're not in the shop so i need to continue adding things to my shop 
But that's what we're going to work on for now. I am going to watch a couple of YouTube videos while I am doing the inventory thing and getting that good to go. Because I can't really make a plan as to what I need to do um, without, without the inventory information. So we're going to start there. And then I think I'm going to move on to putting the items up on the web shop. I'm going to try to do five items every day um, until I get them done. I said that last week, and then I did the first day, and then that was it. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to try to do better. We're going to try to do better, and then I'm going to work on the Valentine stuff and some spring sketches. So that's what's on tap for the day. I will let you know how I get on. Oh, my goodness. What's up, you guys? It's dark in here. Let me fix that. Let's fix the darkness. I think y'all wanted to see my stomach, so I tried to hide that. Anyways, um, what's up, you guys? It is 20 minutes after 12 on Tuesday. Um, I did not get shit done <laughs> at all yesterday. Oh, my God. I was so ridiculously nauseated I had no idea um what was going on I had to literally and I'm used to pain and I'm used to nausea from the pain and that shit put me down yesterday uh the migraine that came along with the nausea was just ridiculous and so I had to go lay down also Mr. Scribbles was here and so I was trying to spend as much time with him as possible so really the time that I spent with him yesterday <laughs> once I went inside was basically me laying you know on him on the couch trying to not vomit <laughs> just just to, just you know trying not to toss my cookies all over the place so I did not toss my cookies we did go to bed really early like really early like probably 80 year old people early as in like I don't know it was like 7 30 8 o'clock it was early it was early as shit um, he had to get up at 6 o'clock this morning and uh, leave. So, we were we were up at 6. We were up and down throughout the night. I don't think he slept well. I know I didn't sleep well. So, we were just up and down. And we got up and he went out and forgot half the stuff. And I had to take his stuff. <laughs> it's been a mess. I don't know if you could tell, but it has been a mess. So, none of my shit got done yesterday. I worked on my inventory I worked on my inventory yesterday, and I was trying to come up with what I want to do with my boost, and what I want this new display to look like, and how it's going to fit into these spaces, and still look nice, and I just don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it together, so I need a space for everything, and I'm, I'm just trying to make it work, and it's not clicking right this very second, but the good news is, I've got about a month before I need to worry about it fitting and working and all of that good stuff. So, no big deal. Um, what am I doing today? Today I'm working on the Valentine's cards. Um, they will already have been posted. So, you can go. Look at how freaking adorable this is. This is a Valentine's Day card. It is printed on a photo card stock, okay? So, it is 110 pounds or 199 GSEM. So, it's pretty flexible as far as paper is concerned. It feels really light because it is really light. Um, this, this is my old card stock, which is... A little bit smaller a little bit smaller than this these are a2 cards um, so that I can fit two on a page but ooh, shush I'm trying to talk here uh, <laughs> um, so these are just you can tell that these are a little bit thicker they're probably like a 200 GSM or something like that whereas these are fairly light but I like them I like this paper is what I'm saying this paper is crazy beautiful when it prints it's a photo card stock it is meant to enhance you know the colors that are printed on the thing so when it comes to either sort of a matted view that you get with a regular regular card stock but thicker this is beautiful but thinner I hope that makes sense I don't know which would you prefer would you prefer 
a chunkier card or would you prefer a brighter card um, since I'm making these in house and then this is the back it'll have the barcode up here for me it will have all of the info down here for you guys and then it's just a beautiful card inside is blank so there's that I'm gonna list these tomorrow and then I've got the crazy this crazy one which is super cute. Don't mind the cut edges because they won't look like that. I was just cutting them with my old paper cutter. I've got a third monster. I've got a sweatshirt design that is coming out. Um, I'm ordering my sweatshirts and the, the design is super cute. I've got it ready to go. Let's see. And then the stickers for each one of the characters. Those are going to go out as well. So those are the little sort of Valentine's Day launch that I'm going to be doing on the 1st of February. So you can get those on the 1st of February. It's going to be a super so, uh, you know, super small launch of just some new product. Um, specifically because I should have been planning for Valentine's Day the 1st of January. And instead I was planning for conventions the 1st of January. So I didn't have as much time dedicated to this as I wanted to. I actually probably should have started doing it in December knowing that I had it coming up and I had a busy January. But that's okay. Um, so we're just going to do some V-Day cards, some V-Day stickers, and um, the new sweatshirt, the new crew neck. And it is, is super cute. It is white. Um, I'll put an image up here. It is white with um, the characters across the middle um, right here on the chest area and then the sleeves are done as well with hearts and sparkles and it's going to be super cute. I'm going to have it available in sizes small to 3x. If you need anything larger than a 3x I think I can go up to a 5x just send me a message and let me know if you need a larger than 3x we are inclusive here we want all body top uh, types to be able to get our products and be satisfied with our products so yeah just let me know just let me know and um, we can do that also if you're super super small I believe we can do um, an extra small but I just don't carry them I don't carry them so I would have to order in a specific size for you so just let me know Anyways, so that's going to happen tomorrow. I did not do a whole lot of um, promoting this launch, so I don't know how it's going to go. Um, but that's okay. Um, I am going to be working on my spring launch next, which I will be promoting throughout the month of February. So that's, that's next on my list. I've got to finish up some things. I'm going to work on some spring designs that I want to have done. And then I'm going to work on... Um, finishing up a sticker that I need to do for um, the stamp rally that I'm in in Richmond. So, any hoops. That's all I know. That's all I know about that. And I am still not feeling great today, but I'm going to try to push through a little bit of art, at least for now. And then hopefully when I go inside, I can get some of my um, I can get some crochet done because I do have my inventory list ready to go and I need to start busting a move on some of these items and getting them ready to go because uh, I've got the three three back-to-back -back conventions do you know how many chickens I plan on making for three back-to-back -back conventions 110 that's ridiculous is that not ridiculous it feels ridiculous because it is ridiculous 110 chickens to get me through three conventions that is 30 for the convention um in wilmington that's 30 that is 50 for lexington and 30 again for richmond so that is 110 chickens that's crazy talk it would take me 10 days basically to make 110 chickens 10 days so that's that's a lot <laughs> it may not take me quite that long if I work on nothing but chickens for like a weekend day but otherwise that's a lot that's a lot of freaking chickens so we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes because I've got I've got a shit ton of stuff to do um I do plan on sort of putting together some of the footage that I had earlier this month and um doing a recap at the end of the month about how much I crocheted in the month of January so that I could show you all those things. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna have to squish together a couple of bits of footage for that. Got a package. All right, so I'm a little bit excited and I'm a little bit nervous. I always get nervous. I'm like, do these things actually print the way that I expect them to? Um, especially when you're like, just go with it. It should be fine. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so these are little... The hell is this? It doesn't seem right. <laughs> it's such, oh my god, it is though. It is. Everything on it is just super small. Okay, so it's the same size as a business card. I'm like, this looks super small. Okay, but it's got the QR code up here and a little scribbles down here. Um, I didn't put the website on here, I guess, because the QR code is on here. So, um... Yeah, or I could have 100% completely spaced on what I was supposed to do. But anyways, I got these backing cards. I think I got 250 of them. I did, 250 backing cards so that I can put pins on them. I got no pins. I had pins. I had pins out. I, maybe. I had one pushed onto a backing card. I know I did. Found it. Alright, so I had this one pushed onto this little backing card that I printed here. So let's take it off of that super quick. And we're going to grab some washi tape. The washi tape just allows me to punch down onto the paper itself. So this is, this is thicker. Um, this is flimsy so we're gonna sort of center her up I don't know how centered that is but you know what are you gonna do I'm dealing with a crazy person here all right so here she is she is on the backing card that has my QR code my brand and 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 oh please, oh please, can I take this right here because I have a bajillion of them. Pop it, pop the tape off of it, and center it the best I can. You know, is what it is here, and then bam, ready to hang and self serve. So that's what I'm thinking. I want to do is self-serve I've got to put the little stickers on the back that d does the price I think um, so I'll have to make up some more barcodes barcodes and I'll have to barcode each one of them so that it's easy checkout but they'll be self-serve and I think that's better. Do what do you think? Do you think? I think that's better. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do as much self serve as I can. Um, I'm gonna have the enamel pins close by me so that it's not really an issue as far as theft is concerned. But yeah, I would like to do this. So I bought backing cards. It was super inexpensive to get. It was like twenty bucks, I think total once you factor in shipping um i spent 20 bucks to get that so it's not too too bad not too too bad at all i am going through now and i am listing all of my products that i'm going to be releasing tomorrow i have got the kiki print uh the kiki's delivery service print the stitch print the baby yoda print the you're awesome print the pikachu the new pink mushroom and cocoa print and ducky the ducky dragon are all coming out. Um, I have got the three Valentine's Monster stickers. I need to do a sticker for the pink voodoo mushroom, which I'll have to do next. Um, got the crewnex going out, the hoodies, and I'm about to list a t-shirt option as well. So there will be all of those things listed tomorrow. That's actually a lot more than I thought. And I really need to do a cup design 
I really need to do a cup design as well. So we'll see if I can get that done um, before tomorrow. But I'm working a little butt off today. I'm actually being quite productive, I think, getting all this stuff drafted and ready for listings. So I am, I am working, 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 and uh, just watching some YouTube and watching some Artist Alley blogs and studio blogs and things like that. So I am going to um, get moving on, on all of this stuff. I'm going to get some t-shirts listed. I'm doing a couple of different colors. So you'll have a pink option and a white option to choose from for the hoodie and the t-shirt. So, you know, you get to pick a little bit. The um, monster hoodie, the crew neck is in white. I don't think I did a pink option for it, but it's going to be in white. Um, so, yeah. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, so, sticker shirt tumbler tumbler design if y'all want to see um like pikachu and ducky and stuff like that on a tumbler let me know down in the comments and i will put those on a tumbler as well or a glass cup whichever you want so okay i'm gonna do i'm gonna go do that what up my dudes all right i haven't said anything to the camera this morning but it is just after 10 about 10 15 and I've got some exciting things. So, check out the new mushroom cup. Isn't she lovely? And then I have got the Valentine Monsters on a cup, which I think is super cute. So, those two are set and ready to be listed. I've got the photos. I'm doing a day in the life sort of thing for my TikToks and reels and stuff like that so i am in the process of like filming each little thing that i do today and i've got to get these photos edited i have the photos taken i just need to edit them really quick in snapseed and get them over to be listed um i've got some new sublimation paper in it is uh eight and a half by 14 so that I can use the 14s to do the sleeves on the shirts so I was waiting for that delivery this morning and it came so yippee skippy on that uh I am downloading all of the stuff from last week so I can edit the studio vlog for you guys I have brought everything you can see the little uh polar bear here <laughs> look at how cute he is so um, I have taken everything that I had inside, I have brought it out here, and I have gotten it ready and counted in my inventory for the next convention. I've got two orders that came in yesterday, packed up and out. Um, let's see. I think that's it. I think that's all that I've done this morning, but that is a heck of a lot because it is, it does take time, you know, to film absolutely everything that you do in sort of a short clip. So, yeah, I am working on all that. I think everything just transferred over to my flash drive. I am editing the pictures as we speak. All I have to do really is go in and click last edits on my snapseed so it's not a big issue um i have got the shop update ready to go at noon um i'm going to post a quick little TikTok at noon about that so hopefully that generates a little bit of traffic since nobody knew the shop update was coming i think that's it i'm going to go through here i am going to edit all of my photos and it's going to be great so we got two photos, three pieces of apparel. So we've got an uh, actual hoodie. We have got a crew neck and we've got a t-shirt coming out. Um, two cups, three cards, um, four stickers, and a bunch of prints. So it's going to be great. All right, you guys. So it's just after two. I have done the launch. Um, I said nobody really knew about the launch, so it is what it is. I just put the products up there, and if somebody goes and checks it out, they go and check it out. If not, it is nobody's fault but my own, considering that I didn't announce anything ahead of time. I did make a reel. I did make a um, 
TikTok and a YouTube short. So, I mean, people will see it. A couple of people have visited the site. Um, I'm not really expecting too much as far as purchases because I don't get a whole lot of purchases on my web shop. Like I said, we got two. We got two yesterday. So, 87 Handmade and Kamitha? Kamitha? I'm probably saying that wrong. Anyways, thank you so much for your orders. But between um, Etsy, TikTok shop, um, Ribbler, and um, the online store, we're only at 18. We're only at 18 for the month. So, I like I said, I don't get a whole lot of sales on my website. But, you know, when they do come in, that's fantastic. So, if you want some of the new stuff, um, go and grab it. Absolutely, go and grab it. Um... The point is, is that it's up and it's available for anybody who does want it in future. I am going to go inside. I'm a little bit chilly out here today, honestly. I'm a little bit chilly, so I'm just going to go inside and snoodle up. I am probably going to do some art and then make some chickens or axolotls or something. Um, I'm going to make some stuff, but I do want to do some art first. So we'll see what um, sort of happens as far as that is concerned. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. I have figured out that for my little fish tanks, which look like this, for my little fish tanks, I want to just glue, glue this to the lid. Um, it looks better on top of the lid than it does hanging down. And if somebody wants to open the tank and move things around, they still can. And then this is just attached to the top. So this is what the little fish tanks will look like. Here is a little fish in this one. Um, I just need to secure these down with glue. I think I'm going to go get a glue dot. I have glue dots somewhere but I think they're in my um trailer along with some of my um convention supplies so I will have to um get them out of the trailer anyways I am going to go inside and watch some tv and do some art I think is what I'm going to do next because I have been jonesing for some art and um, I've got a couple of things that I need to finish. I gotta finish my whale sticker. I gotta finish my Buffy piece. I gotta finish me um, some new spring sketches. I've got a Snorlax and some Eevees to do. So much to do, much to do. Um, yeah, I will probably see you guys tomorrow. I'm freezing. I'm like freezing out here. It's cold today. It just sucks. So. My emails are going off all over the place. I am going to go. Good morning, guys. All right. It is Thursday. Is it Thursday? Who knows? I think it's Thursday. It is Thursday, February 1st. I, I got it right. I got it right. So, I'm going to be working on some stuff for Patreon today. My keyboard is crunchy. Oh, my God. My keyboard is crunchy from where I spilled coffee on it um, last week. I got a couple of things in the mail, which I'm excited about. I've got to check my emails. I'm in the same outfit as yesterday. Don't judge. Don't judge. I'm having a hard time. I am actually starting to get a little bit worried about the pain in my hands. A little bit. I have got pain in this one. You know how um, joints feel when they're swollen? Where they're a little bit tender inside? inside um and it just feels fat feels fat where you can't maybe can't see a lot on the outside it just feels that way you're having like a difficult time with something well that's what i'm having it was in this finger and now it's in these fingers so i'm, I'm not sure what's causing that um, but never had that happen before so that's something that's something fun and then of course this finger which we talked about was a little wonky um anyway anyway i got these in the mail yesterday I, i've got some more coming today that are circles these are a little heart metal pins okay they're little hearts okay they have got little metal clasp on the back of them 
but they have this little piece, which is a little sublimation blank. It's a little sublimation blank. So, this one is in a heart shape, which I thought would be super cute for February. They're relatively small, like the the overall space that you have to work with is about an inch. So, but enamel pens are like small anyways. Alright, so then there is this. Get my face out of here. So then there is this, and on the back of that it's metal. So, I'm not 100% sure how this works. How well does this fit in here is the next question. Okay. It looks like it fits relatively well. Hey, Papa. So, it looks like it fits relatively well. Focus. Focus. Inside of the thing. Right? It looks like it fits relatively well. So, I'm wondering how it sticks. I'm thinking this, this may be sticky. Let's grab a pokey tool. Let's grab a pokey tool and see if that's sticky. It looks like it comes up. Um, of course, you know, these don't come with any kind of instruction whatsoever. So I can look back at the Amazon listing and see what I can find. We're going to grab the pokey tool and investigate. That is definitely a sticker. And there is definitely stickiness underneath. Okay. So, you pull off the sticker. And then you stick the sublimation blank silver side down onto the pen. Which is super cute. So, I thought that these would be really, really cute. Why does this look like this has a coating on it, too? Definitely going to have to look back at the Amazon listing. Because this feels like it's got plasticky on the top. And it's got a line running down it like it could be plasticky on the top. Let me grab my pokey tool again. And we'll see if there's something on the tippy top of it. Like, do I need to pull a plasticky bit off the top? I do. There is definitely a protective plastic bit on the front. So, I'm imagining that you will peel this off and then sublimate. And then you will peel this off and then stick. So, that's... That's what we're going with, is how this works. Which is super cute. So, I figured I would print off some of my little guys in about one inch size. And I would plop them, I would plop them into the middle of these. How stinking cute would that be? So, these are, these are heart ones. And then I have some circle ones that are coming today. But I thought that'd be a super cute little pin, right? And we could put those in the gotcha um, machine and make it um, like an exclusive, this kind of pin in the gotcha. So, I don't know. We'll see. Or I could just have them out. But I thought that that would be super fun. So, I got those in the mail yesterday evening. I think it's adorable. I think it's adorable. I wouldn't charge as much for these little guys as I charge for enamel pins. But, I mean, still, super fucking cute. Super fucking cute. Anyways, um, that's all I know about that for now. I'm going to put all this stuff back in here. And I'll work on that later. But, yeah, so, I am, yeah, I really am starting to be concerned a little bit about the pain in my fingers 
I am not sure what's going on there, but it is starting to freak me out a little bit because it's not something that I am used to dealing with. I am used to pain down here. I am used to pain back here. I am used to that kind of stuff because that's where my pain has always been before I started to crochet again for sort of business. Um, but this is new. This is new and I don't like it. So I don't know. I I can't really afford if I want to have everything that I, I want to have at my shows to take a few days break. But at the same time, if I don't take a few days break, what if this gets worse? <sighs> decisions, decisions. Anyways, I am going to start the day, it is February 1st, with some fun stuff for my patrons. For this month and uh, then I am going to go into drawing um, today I'm gonna get some art done I got some art done last night I got some little baby monster sketches and some flowers I have got some sakura flower babies and I have got some daisy babies and I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna combine the two and call it the flower babies collection flower babies collection for spring i'm super excited about it if you want to see more about it jump over to my patreon i'm so excited so i'm going to share the sketches with them today which is going to be super fun um anyways let's see let's see let's see anything else check my email do the thing my video for this week is going to be like an hour long but it's going to be me talking the whole time so if you just want to just throw it up in the background completely understand because that's what my vlogs are really they're just me talking at you um so you can always just throw me up in the background but that one's a long one I tried to cut it down but it just didn't work it didn't it didn't work but I get a lot of you that say you work along with me and so you don't mind me rambling on for for longer uh vlogs so wish wish granted wish granted <laughs> all right I'm gonna go do some stuff morning guys it's friday um i don't know why friday is a big deal to self-employed people because i know most of them work on the weekends so anyways i know i'm gonna be working on the weekends i just gave bubba a bottle so he's in heaven if you hear him back there having all kinds of fun that's what happened anyways so i am gonna be doing a few things today i finished up some sketches yesterday which I am super excited about um, I am going to be doing some line art today for those sketches for the spring collection which is gonna be flower babies so it's gonna be little baby monsters and little baby shrooms probably with different kinds of flowers I finished up my whale sticker for my sticker rally in March. I started on the rest of the whales that I had drawn. So I had five more whales drawn so that I could put them on a sticker sheet or a sticker um, pack. I finished, well, it's not really a whale. It's a narwhal. I don't know if, are narwhals whales? I don't think they are. But anyways, there's a narwhal in there for no reason. Um, I finished him yesterday and I'm starting to work on the next whale. Let's see. I got, oh, it's the cutest design. I'm about to go share it with my patrons so y'all don't get to see it yet. Um, it is the cutest design. I am definitely turning this into an enamel pin. It is freaking adorable and I am obsessed with it. Yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I'm looking at it right now. It's so cute. It is so stinking adorable. Anyways, so I decided to do some sakura flowers and some daisies so i think those are going to be like my two flowers for this launch i'll have some some daisies some sakura flowers and i think that that'll be good um i need to set up my actual um video today so i have it uploaded or it was uploading overnight they're they're shot in 4k so they are a lot to upload um and it takes quite a while, so I try to do, like, give it a day to upload itself. And, um, yeah. So there's that. I saw 
applications open for, um, I didn't see it, applications open for the Artist Alley at Dragon Con, um, on the 1st of February, so I applied for the Artist Alley. Do I think I have a shot of getting in? Absolutely not. Um, I didn't, I got, um, I didn't even get waitlisted last year. I, I got a no thank you. Um, which is fine because Dragon Con is really a lot of fine art, but I forgot last year to do this. I didn't forget this year. Although, I didn't know that these applications opened up in December instead of February, and they run through March as well. But, it's a juried process, so they go through everything and then jury it out. But there's a comic and pop show um, in a different part of the venue than the actual artist alley, like the fine art artist alley. And, I do stand a chance of getting into that. So, I also put in my application for that. So, you can apply for both. If you get into one, I mean, obviously, you're not going to be in the other, and you, you choose which one you want to be in. Um, so, I'm choosing to apply to both, and we'll see what happens. So, as far as the Comic and Pop Show is concerned, they um, run through March 1st as well, I believe, and then they just start um, sending out notices when they... It says as soon as possible on that one, and then the actual Artist Alley usually comes out about the 1st of May, um, mid-April to early May. It closes on the 1st, and then they, they sort of take 45 days to go through everything. Again, I'll be happy in the Comic and Pop show, um, so there's that. Anyways, um, ready my video. I gotta do my budget in for my house and my, um, update all of my budget spreadsheets for my business. And then I'm gonna do some art, I think. I started a new video last night, which was the first, which is, um, what I'm crocheting in the month of February. I made some progress on that, so I'm happy about that. My fingers don't feel so bad today. They feel a little bit better, so that's always a good thing. This is still sore, but this is gonna remain sore, I think, forever, so... It is what it is. But anyways, I just figured I'd give you a little good morning update. Um, I'm going to go check my emails and get started for the day. Good morning. Good morning. So, originally, I didn't plan on coming out here this morning. But, I decided I was going to anyways. One, it's a little bit quieter out here. Two, I have a couple of things that I needed to bring out here anyways. And three... I have just a couple of things that it's just easier to do on a computer. So, there's that. All of my Tylenol was out. My emergency bottle, my pocketbook bottle, my truck bottle, my inside bottle, my studio bottle. Everything was out. So, I bought these Mondo um, things of Tylenol yesterday. And I'm just... Ugh. I'm about to take some because my head is already hurting this morning. But yeah, I just figured I'd come out here and do some art this morning. I am not tempted to do crochet if the crochet is not in front of me. Um, and I've got some pieces that I want to finish up. And like I said, i got a couple of things that are um, easier to do on the computer than they are on my phone or on my iPad. So... We also got this package in the mail night before last, I believe, um, which was our little circle sublimation blanks. So, let's see what they look like. I don't know why half the time Amazon sends these bubble mailers and half the time they send the nice paper ones. But, Amazon, if you're listening, I prefer the paper ones. I guess they must still have a bajillion of them. But the paper ones are nicer. Oh, I got myself some new. Got myself some new tools for my unboxings. I gotta take one inside and I'm gonna keep one out here. And then I'll put the other ones up for when I put them in the safe place and can't find them anymore. So, so cute. These should be one inch as well. Alright. 
awesome. So these here have the sticker inside. They have the metal circle base and then the sublimation blank on this side as well. Just thought that how cute is this, right? Like how cute is that? Um, to sublimate the little characters on, maybe give them a little wave, saying hello, something, something super cute that's not, you know, I thought it'd be cute. I don't know. What do y'all think? I think they're cute. Um, so we'll see how they sublimate first. I'm not awake yet. I decided to go for, instead of coffee this morning so we'll see how that works out but I'm not awake yet I literally just rolled out of the bed um same same clothes from yesterday I put them back on because for the majority of yesterday I didn't even wear them um so yeah I'm not going anywhere today that I know of if I do I'll probably change clothes anyways so anyway these are cute I think they're cute I hope they sublimate well I hope that the little vision that's in my head of what they could be and what they could look like i hope that that translates onto onto this so we'll we'll have to wait and see i'm gonna i'm gonna work out my schedule for next week and i think we're gonna plan on doing some little stuff like this so stay tuned for that i don't know i just thought they'd be super cute so we'll see anyways i am gonna get started i'm gonna look up a couple of things i saw something yesterday that was really freaking exciting for me and I just, yeah, uh, I'm thinking about it really, really hard. But I don't want to tell you guys yet until I make a decision. So, know that there may be something extra. Because we all know me. I'm a little bit freaking extra. There may be something extra coming to my booths here soon. I'm going to go and look up a couple of things and do some art and update my patreon because i forgot to do that yesterday so i'm gonna update my patreon with the new little monster the little sakura monster oh my gosh it's so cute it's so cute anyways i love you join my patreon if you want all the sneak peeks and the behind the scenes access because they get it all all right i love you i love you i love you i love you yeah join us on patreon five dollars a month gets you everything um, except for the businessy stuff and the crochet patterns, seven dollars a month gets you the crochet patterns. It is a really, 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 really good deal. Anyways, I love you. Come and join us. Bye. All right. What's up, you guys? So let's do a mid-afternoon check-in. I got sidetracked on how do I make my display look the way that I want it to look in the space. That I want to have. And that just sidetracked me for an hour. At least. At least an hour. <laughs> it's 3 o'clock now. I have been dealing with these dogs all day. Not dealing with them, dealing with them. But dealing with the fact that they have been barking all day long. Let me get this out of view. Um, it's kind of bright. Anyway, they have been barking all freaking day long. So I went online and I found um, bark collars with good reviews and um, there was one with 40% off coupon on it and it was already supposedly marked down like half price. So I put in an order for bark collars because I'm going crazy. I feel like such a bad neighbor <laughs> because anything, anytime anything happens or nothing happens at all, my dog's run outside like crazy people and start barking at absolutely nothing they just bark at the sky it's crazy so i stopped what i was doing i finally updated patreon with my new design for the flower babies I just finished up the penguins for my penguin stickers. So I'm about to share that to my patrons as well. I think my penguin's name is going to be Pingus. Um, so Pingus is the penguin. There are five versions of Pingus. And I'm very excited about those. Um, I have got to do the rest of my voodoo um, 
my voodoo characters um, that I had done. I have to do my Snorlax and I have to do my Buffy piece. My Pokemon. I still have plenty to do. Trust me. I still have plenty, plenty, plenty to do. So, let's talk about my convention setup. And I just got rid of Procreate. Like, I'm not going to need it and refer to it. So, my next three conventions. My next three conventions are all corner booths. Which, corner booths are good because, one, you get traffic from two directions. And, two, it feels a little bit more spacious and airy um, in general when you have two. So, what I have done is I am making space for my five-foot table. So, two of them are eight by, uh, no, two of them are ten by ten spaces. And, two, and one of them is an eight by ten. So, I'm going to have to recalculate for the eight by ten area. But that's okay because what I think I'm going to do is just turn this slightly, this little thing slightly. So, I'm going to have my five foot table. I'm going to have a little walkway in between. And then I'm going to have my four foot table pushed up against the drapery over there. Um, so, I'll be walking in between my four foot table and my five foot table. Um, I'm going to drape my prints. From the bottom of my banner behind me um, so that they can be seen and they'll just not be self-serve they'll just be behind me I am going to put on the four foot table that is off to the side my catalog um, of my items and my portfolio and maybe a couple of other little things and then above it I'm gonna have my apparel um, so, I'm probably going to have, like, a crew neck or a hoodie or something. Um, and maybe a couple of shirts, like, t-shirts over there. So, that, like, four feet of space, it's going to be, like, a four by three bit of space, is going to be apparel. So, prints, apparel, portfolio, um, catalog of items in case, you know, somebody is in the way in other places. I think I am going to buy the secret thing. I think I am. I'm so scared because they're so expensive. It's really expensive and I don't know how well it's going to go over. But I hope people love it. I would love it. I really would. I would love it. So, anyways. I thought that would be fun. Um, out in the open space, the open corner space, I'm going to put three of my... Um, collapsible shelves. I'm going to have one like this and then I'm going to stack two behind it to fill in that, that gap behind it and then I'm going to have my sticker wall behind those two so that you don't get the ugly edge. So sticker wall, cups, cups um, and then I'm going to use the bottom for storage for some of the apparel. Um, in front of me, directly in front of me, I'm going to have off to this draped side my plushies, my plushie wall. Um, and since I'm focusing more on the smaller items and less on the bigger items, I am going to have a spot on the 2 by 3 sort of section for um, those plushies. But that's where they're going to sit. Um... And then I'm going to do my plushy keychains on the next one over. And then break that up like half and half. So plushy keychains will go down one half of that grid. And regular keychains, which I think I'm going to order. How Are y'all into keychains? Does everybody like keychains? Anyways, um, those keychains are going to go down the other half of it. And then I'm going to have pins and things like that on the third wall. That's the plan anyways. In theory, that's the way that it's going to work. I want to bring my gotcha machine back out to sit there. I don't know what I want to put in it yet. I don't know if I want these little sublimation pins in it and to be like a play, try to, try to collect them all kind of thing um, and do just the pins. Or have those up on the thing and do like a random adorableness plush. And so you pay for a token. Um, if you can't make up your mind what you want, you pay for the token. And it'll spit out like 
go get a turtle um, or you get a you get a this I don't know I don't know yet I'm thinking I don't know I don't know I gotta decide what I want um, what I want to go in it and then I'm gonna use the underneath of the four foot table to keep my back stock of plushes hopefully and then I'll keep the back stock of my apparel like I said on those bottom shelves and then hopefully I'll have enough room behind where I am at the five foot table since it's thinner than the four foot table um, to keep my prints and stuff like that so on this wall above above myself and the plushy wall I'm gonna have the tote bags that you can choose from and I'm gonna have the mouse mats that I have available just one shown off um, so I will I will get you your plush or your or not your plush your mouse mat or your um, or your tote bag anyways this is probably confusing as hell and that's just the way that my mind is working right now but I think it might work um I hope it works if not I'm gonna have to make some changes on the fly but that's pretty much what I do anyways but I'm just gonna let it sit there that is what I'm doing I am NOT gonna change my mind I am NOT going to try and reorganize this setup again until we get to the first convention and we see how it works because I go over this thing way too much trying to fit everything in it and um, I need to stop that I need, <laughs> I need to stop that but I'm gonna go and put my um, my pinguis the penguin pingus the penguin um, that's hard to say but I don't care his name is pingus um, I'm gonna go put it up for my patrons to see because I'm really excited about him he's so cute it's so cute anyways um i am probably gonna go in very very soon and um do a little bit of crochet and then draw some more i think so we'll see how that goes we got a sale thank you so much all right i'm back anyways um I'm feeling quite sort of motivated and inspired today just to do some art and because I want to be able to fill up the art portion of my um, sort of business and storefront and all of that stuff a little bit more um, I think I'm gonna go in today and I may wait until later on this evening to start to crochet But I think I'm gonna go and sketch out some more things. I forgot that I wanted to have like a little YouTube um, Dude for anybody who comes up and says that they watch my YouTube videos And so I just made a little monster. I made a little dude and he's holding a little YouTube sign So I thought that that was cute and it's gonna be a super cute little sticker for me to hand out to anybody who says that they watch my YouTube videos So if you see me at a show come up and tell me that you watch my YouTube videos and you're gonna get a super cute little monster. I'm gonna share the um, Actual design when I get it a little bit more tweaked with my patrons and then I will show it to you guys at some point um, Maybe at the next convention and we'll unveil it. But yeah um, If you want if you want the if you want the behind the scenes, here's here's how you get it but anyways, he's super cute. He's super happy, and I just love him. I'm trying to figure out what color I want him to be, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to take all my stuff inside, and I'm going to go set up in the house and uh, start watching. I'm, I was doing the Buffy and Spike piece, which told me that I wanted to go back and watch Buffy for like the 500th time. I can basically recite the um, the script to you. I'm serious. <laughs> That is not even a joke. I have seen it so many times, but it is one of my all-time favorites. I was doing a Buffy and Spike piece, um, so it was very, very fitting. And, um, yeah, I think I am going to go in and I'm going to work on some art. I don't want to stress my fingers. I don't want to stress my hands. So, I'm feeling inspired. And when you're feeling inspired, you need to just go with it. Freaking go with it. So, um, after Pingus, Pingus um, really really inspired me to just keep drawing today so I'm gonna go inside 
I'm going to take Bop Bop here with me. I can't wait for those bark collars to get here tomorrow. And hopefully they work wonders and very quickly. Um, the little um, underground invisible fence thing worked super quick. Like they don't even wear those collars anymore. And they don't roam outside of where they know that those lines were. So <laughs> I think that they'll pick up the stop barking. Thing very quickly as well now whether or not the running thing goes with the barking thing remains to be seen but I'll probably start them on that on Monday um, even though the collars I may start it tomorrow night once I get back from my show um, from my market but we see what happens we will see we will see what happens anyways I'm gonna go in for the night um, if I film anything it will be for the what I crochet in February vlog which will be um, on my phone so i will talk to you guys at some point who knows it may be monday all right good morning bestie bitches what's up um i look like a freaking train wreck because i feel like a freaking train wreck um it's about a weekish a weekish before uh auntie flo you know comes in for her monthly visit and in those weeks i tend to start to develop my pain flares which run through here from my fibro um they run through here mostly um like my upper chest and and shoulder area where it feels like my skin is on fire and um it's sensitive to touch and i don't even like my clothes on me but that's okay because we got shit to do anyways we can't just stop we can't just stop. We got stuff to do. Anyways, um, I'm only on here to clear, uh, uh, close out the vlog from last week. Um, I didn't do a whole lot over the course of the weekend as far as content creation is concerned. I know I updated you guys in the What I'm Crocheting in February video um, because I did some crochet. And I did a market vlog for you guys as well because I did go to a market yesterday so I didn't really have a whole lot to update as far as the vlog is concerned I am I am going to get ready for this week I've got to go in and set up my to do's and what needs to get done and when it needs to get done and all of that good stuff so I just wanted to thank you for watching this video I love your faces so much let's put a green heart in the comments if you made it to the end of the video those comments are helping us get monetized soon so drop your comments down below i love your faces so much for y'all who just comment the emojis at the end of each video because it's such a huge help also give it a little thumbs up hit the little button it looks like this and uh that helps in the algorithm as well anytime you guys interact with the videos it is fantastic um subscribe if you haven't already ding your little notification bell so you are informed each and every time i upload new content i will see you in the next video we will pick up the next vlog probably um right here after i finish up this vlog so yeah we'll see where that one picks up anyways i love your face so much love you love you thank you thank you bye